Hi everyone. I'm going to talk a little bit about your lab setup for today. So what is it that we're going to be doing? Well, today the purpose of our lab is to observe the velocity of an object. And we're going to be trying to stick with something pretty close to a constant velocity. That means an unchanging velocity. Now the object that we're going to be looking at is a marble up on a ramp. All right. So we're going to roll the marble down the ramp. And from the bottom of the ramp, to the point where it reaches some object, we're going to time that right in between there. All right, so from the bottom of the ramp to the time it reaches the object. So we'll put like a book or something else there so that when the marble hits it, we can hear it and we can stop our timer. All right, now we're going to do this at different distances. I want you to take a close look here because we're looking and we're increasing by 10 centimeters at a time all the way up to one full meter. But I also want you to look at the precision or the accuracy of this measurement. I want you to notice where the decimal is located. All right. I have 10.0 centimeters, which you might think is the same as 10 centimeters, but it is not. All right. By writing that extra zero, we are saying that we are accurate to the millimeters place. If you don't quite understand that, please watch the video on measurement. All right. So after we measure these things out and we want to be as accurate as we can, then we're going to roll the marble down the ramp and start the timer when it hits the bottom of the ramp and stop the timer when it hits the object. All right. Now what I did here for my setup is I'm using a Chromebook because a Chromebook has a pretty low profile. That means this marble is not going to be rolling super fast when it comes off the edge of it. All right. So it's going to roll down my ruler. And you see there's a nice groove on that ruler for it to follow, all right? Now, the other thing that I did was I made a little pencil mark right at the edge of where my ruler is, because once my the edge of my ruler moves, it's going to change my measurement. So I want to make sure that if something happens, I can always get it back to the starting point. Now, the next thing that I did is I grabbed a meter stick. And from that mark, I started marking off 10 centimeters at a time all along my table. So have to see my marks here, but I started marking 10 centimeters off all along the table so that I could move quickly whenever I was trying to take my data. All right. So we're moving, we're doing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, all the way up to one meter, right? Now I was also careful because the edge of my ruler definitely does not start at zero. So I started all my measurements from 10, and then when I got up to 90, then I scooted the whole thing down and started from 10 again, just making sure that I had one total meter in centimeters. All right, so what happens? Well, we're gonna take our marble, we're gonna put it on the edge there. So I get a marble. And the other thing we want to do is we want to make sure we start the marble from the same place every time. So if you're looking down, pick a spot. Whatever it might be, be very specific, all right? Don't be off by a millimeter here or a millimeter there. Those things can make differences. So we're looking for the best accuracy we can get. If you change this, it'll change the speed that it comes off the edge of the ramp. Now, I'm using a calculator because I kind of thought, well, when it hits the edge of the calculator, that'll make a nice little noise. So here we go. We put it on, we roll it, start timing, stop timing. Now these first ones are fast, all right? And so we wanna collect more than one data point on this because we don't know how far we'll be off for each one of those. But once we start to get to the longer distances, we're gonna notice that this is gonna even out a little bit. It'll be easier to time. It's just one of the things that we have to deal with with the early points here, all right? So try to be quick. For each one of these, we are gonna record three data points, all right? So we're gonna roll it down three times with the 10 centimeter distance, three times with the 20 centimeter distance, three times with the 30, so on and so forth until you've collected all that data, all right? So once you've collected your data, what are you doing with it? Well, this is the displacement versus time graph that you're going to make, all right? So I have times down here on my x-axis. That is my independent variable. And displacements on my y-axis. That is my dependent variable. We are going to graph all the points. We're going to do a best fit line. Whatever this looks like, I, I just kind of drew some points in here and, and faked a line. You're going to get an equation 
all right, and the R squared value, and then you're gonna write your interpretation just like we did previously, all right? So that is your lab, the Marble Lab for us today. Uh, good luck.